Hello and welcome to Blue Walker 64's video channel. Um, I've been tagged by Fog360 to talk about my two favourite blades that I would take out in the field. Well, um, I'm not actually a bushcrafter yet, um, I'm very much in the embryonic stages, but I am actually a long distance walker. Um, having walked Hadrian's Wall 84 miles and the Viking Way which was 147 miles um, with a backpack uh, and the full kit, I did actually need um, something to, um, you know, chop up my uh, cheese if I was making some something edible um, and uh, something to fix things with. So, what for many years has been one of my staple um, blades has been this, which is just a standard ceramic blade, cheapo thing from Wilkinson's but it's small and it fits inside uh, with the rest of my cooking gear and it's been invaluable um, for quite a while. Um, ideally I suppose that what I should do having trained at Catering College I should actually take the big boy which is my big 10 inch cook's knife but obviously it's, uh, it's rather big, it doesn't have a sheath and uh, not a great thing to keep in a backpack because it would probably cause more damage than it would be of use. So we abandoned that one, we abandoned this one, but I won't say that is the favourite knife. The favourite thing that has got a blade on, I would say, is this multi-tool. It's uh, not a Leatherman, it's uh, a cheap version, but it's really heavy. It's got all the uh, standard things, I think, that a Leatherman tool has got on it. It's got your um, mirror, it's got the screwdrivers and the the other um, can opener and uh, the other bits and pieces that you would have on um, but um, it's you know it's compact it all folds away nice satisfying clamp back into its form it's not the prettiest thing it's getting on and it is actually borrowed from my husband's toolbox so that goes with me that's fixed many a, a problem with a backpack um, and uh, boots or whatever. Um, the other thing that I videoed the other day was this tiny little Rolfson blade which is the sweetest little thing but it's very sharp and it's very useful and uh, I would go as far as to say that would probably um, fit in the backpack and be more useful than um, a great big pen knife. Um, I have got a family pen knife, we've got about three altogether, the old Swiss Army one. But to be honest, I don't know whether there's a way of loosening it off, but I find this really stiff to open up. Um, it has been used a fair bit. Um, I don't find the corkscrew very useful, to be honest, I'd rather use one of these. But, uh, you know, I suppose if you were taking um, something that had got more than just two little blades, you would take that one. Um, although, having said that, I would be tempted to take that one. So, um, on balance, I suppose, my blades would be, go around in circles here, would be on this thing here, this big tool, which I don't know what make it is, there's no name on it, so um, your guess is as good as mine. It's probably an Aldi special or a, a Lidl special, I'm not sure. And it would be this tiny little one because it weighs next to nothing. It's got two cracking sharp little blades on it, and uh, and it doesn't take up much room in the backpack. So, right, tagging people. I've thought of one straight away, and that would be Albert Jones. I want to see. He's a newcomer. He's um, he's been out and he's been doing his bushcraft, and he's made some great videos, and everybody should follow him. So. First one would be Albert Jones. Um, the other two I've got to think about, and I would actually, um, I'm going to put links at the bottom underneath the video. Thanks for watching. Uh